Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be showing you what's in our school bag 2019. I'm going into year 7 and I'm going into year 10 and we're both going to be in the same school this year. So I'm excited for Ruby to come to my school because we haven't been in the same school for three years now I think. I'm really excited to go to the school because apparently the food's really good and it's probably way level up from our school food. It's way better than the primary school food. I'm used to it now though. You always said it was so good and the chips you said with beans were really good. I don't remember saying that. So these are our school bags and I got a new school bag this year because the one we got in a challenge, which is what Ruby is using, because it's in good condition, I use for dance and I use as my dance bags. And this was actually really new for me and it's still really nice and I love the Jack Wills yeah. bag. But for me, I did already have a lot of my stationery for this year, but Ruby got new stationery, so kind of the other way around. Most of it's from my birthday. Yeah, also in case you've realized, I do have plasters on my hand. That's because just before we filmed the video, I like grazed my hand. Okay, so we're gonna rock, paper, scissors to see who starts with their bags first. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. I anticipated that. I'm actually kind of getting good at it. So my bag is from Urban Outfitters and we went into Urban Outfitters when we went on holiday for the first time and I got this bag and this bag says donut on it and I put this key ring on. Guess who got me that? Me. Yeah, this was from a challenge so comment in the community page if you're not challenged this one. But I do have buckles on the front of this bag which is probably going to irritate me but the good thing is I can get into it without this. So I'm going to undo it for the purpose of the video. Same. <laughs> Mine's easy, it's the zip bag. In the front of my bag, I have headphones. What do you have? <laughs> headphones. Good choice. Oh, and I have normal ones, so I don't have to have that adapter thing. So these will probably end up transferred to my blazer later on in the year, but I'm not sure why the charging ones are in here though, because there aren't charges at school and you're not allowed your phone out anyway. Okay. So I have a few more things in the front pocket. This next one will probably end up in my blazer as well, but this is a lip gloss and it's from Fenty Beauty. So the second thing I got is, this is from my friend Amelia who you saw in the birthday video. She got me it for my birthday. This is a cork purse and then inside she got me a really nice little pocket mirror with this amazing pattern. That's the cutest pocket mirror I've ever seen. So I have three more things in the front of my bag. I have hand sanitizer. I use a lot of hand sanitizer in school. We both like, a subconsciously copying each other. So my mum's snuck in the sun cream and I didn't even put it in, but I do burn when it's really sunny, so I am gonna take that in because it's still summer and I don't wanna burn. I remember up until year eight, I think I had sun cream in there. For some reason, it was always in in the winter as well. I have two more things and they're related, so I'm gonna show them at the same time. I have tissues and hand wipes, and these just come in handy a lot. Tissues and toilet wipes. In year six, my pen's always bursted on me. I have them too. That's all I've got in my front pocket. So I have two more things. I have Vaseline, because my lips always get dry and chopped. No. <laughs> chopped, okay. And then I have my emergency kit here. It was in the front. Yeah. And mine's just like 10 times the size. I have hair bubbles. Nice. I always lose hair bubbles. I have plasters, because I always cut myself randomly. And then I have this lip scrub, lip balm. So that's the front, and now we're gonna go into the bag. I'm gonna do the front pocket. I have a little front pocket here. So I've got a calculator and it tells you how to work. I don't know what half of these things are. You won't need them yet, but that is sin, cause and tan, you learn in year nine. And half the stuff you won't need yet. So I'm gonna show you the last one that maybe can show you hers. This is a math set with everything I need in it. Rulers, contractors, compasses, pencil sharpeners, pencils, rubbers. I, I don't know what this is. The compass. So these two things I keep in that front pocket. Okay, so I've got a lot of front pockets. I'm gonna start in this one. So I have gum in this one, and some of this will probably end up in my blazer as well. Oh, gum. And my favorite flavor is Cool Breeze, so comment which one yours is. I have four packets here, but anyone who goes to my school and might be watching this, my gum. I'm not too sure why I might need this, but I have one of these things right with your phone on it, and that is in this pocket. And I think my phone will be in that pocket as well. Okay, we have one more pocket. And in here, 
I have a wallet and I think also in here I'll keep my house keys and it's really good for if I go to like the shops after school and in our school we don't have to pay for our food with wallets we have like a fingerprint thing I think they have that in a lot of UK schools at the minute okay so on to the main pocket and now you can see our pencil cases I have one pencil case and it's like this <laughs> I have two. <laughs> I had like three in year seven. So I'm gonna show mine first. I used this last year, I think, a little bit. It's a cactus one. And then I've got all the main things you need, so I just don't have to take out like loads of stuff. I have two highlighters, a yellow and a green one. No. These are pastel colors. A ruler, a black pen, and the Bic pens are good apparently. And yeah, they are. you put, you wanna explain? So on the top of some of Ruby's pens and her colored pens, which you'll show later, I think, I put like the same colors glitter tape. I did that in year seven and it was quite cool. Kind of like labelling but in a cute way. Then I got a sharpener, a rubber and mechanical pencils. So Ruby's pencil case is really pastel and themed. So they're like the main things I'm going to need to use so I, if like I they say like quickly get something out I'll just quickly get this pencil case out because it has everything. And Ruby's next pencil case is for if you're doing like drawing and colouring and kind of deeper in the lesson I guess. That's just like if I need it go and get it yeah. quick. <laughs> So I have everything in my pencil case and I usually end up putting a pen in my blazer so I'll just like not take my pencil case out some lessons and use the pen. So in my pencil case, this is everything in mine. So I have two highlighters and I use the yellow one really often like in pretty much all my lessons. Then I have a glue stick, I have a baby glue stick. Then I have two black pens. Then I have a handwriting pen and this is really good when we're doing like posters and stuff in lessons which actually happens a lot. This is the handwriting pen. We have some coloured pens in here, and I have a blue and a pink one which are good for posters, a green and a purple one for marking. Then I have two pencils, then I've got a rubber, two rulers, and it's funny because I've never used any of the triangle protractors in school, but I always keep them in my pencil case. And lastly, I have a calculator in here, and it's the same one as Ruby, and I use a lot more of the stuff on. I think I've used probably everything on here so far. At some point. So this is from Emma and I really love it, thank you Emma. And in this I actually have packed this one. I've actually put rubber bands on these because I think it's easy to just get them. I have these colourful pens, these are WH Smith handwriting pens. And Rayleigh's done with all of these the same thing with yeah. the glitter. And the pens we both are using for school, like the black pens and the coloured ones are big. And you can get them in WH Smith. I've also got green and purple for marking. And a purple, blue and pink pen. Then I have a Tipex. That will come in handy. I have two glue sticks because these run out quite fast. I have a sharpener and it's really cute. Really nice. Mechanical pencils. Your pencil case is so rainbow. I know. I'm so rainbow. <laughs> okay, so we both have different things inside now, I think. There might be a occasional same thing. But I have an emergency kit as well. Except mine's like 20 times bigger <laughs> than Ruby's. <laughs> I have some nail files. I also have some plasters in here. Come in handy quite a lot a mirror which is nowhere near as cute as yours Ooh, la la. then i have carmex then i have spare hair bands and hair pins some spare pens and pencils and a rubber because i often run out in lessons some teachers aren't very like forgiving if you forget stationery so if you come into lesson without a pen they can get like quite frustrated and annoyed so now we're going to show the other things which are in our bag and first i have a little coat which used to be rayleigh's is mine. It's a blue mountain warehouse coat. It's really useful because it, if you like pack it, it's really small so it's easy yeah. to go in your bag. So I have a hair brush in here and so does Ruby. Blue version. We got matching brushes and they're so cute. These ones are actually really good. They're called Tangle Tamers. You can get them in the UK in boots. Okay, so the next thing, there are four pockets for in this bag and you can guess what it is. So you've got a pocket on the outside, two on the outside and two on the inside. I don't have any outside pockets on this. Ready? Yeah. So we both have Chili's bottles this year and these are really, really good. It stays hot and cold for such a long time with these. So I'll be bringing my iced coffee into school. I'll be bringing water in. <laughs> then in the main pocket we have our planners and these are both really small. So mine is mainly for keeping my timetable in to be honest. Mine's probably about saying when homework has to be due in. So our school used to give everyone planners but I'm not sure if they still give you a 7 it or not. I think they do but just in case we have that. And this will probably get transferred to my blazer just because we've got a small one. I also always bring some perfume or spray to school so I've got an impulse very pink body fragrance I have a purse um, in it if I want to go to the spa or I need to pay for something then I have five pounds so now I have two more things that I've kept in the main pocket I have a big notebook 
it would probably be better to get a smaller one, but oh well. It's just really handy to have sometimes if you forget your book to lessons and you want to keep your work somewhere. This is just quite good to have, sometimes for doodling, I guess. And then I have one more thing, which is a lot like the notebook, and I have lined paper. So I might end up keeping this at home because it's quite heavy. It's basically just a book of paper I can rip out and put in books and things. And this is the last thing I have in my bag. So it's a folder and it's a really nice pastel pink. And I'm gonna put like homework in here or something like that. Rayleigh got it for me. In our school we get like books each term. I'm pretty sure you get them in year seven. And we get the books that say everything we're gonna learn in that term. That'll be good to keep that in. And loose sheets, it's really easy to like get out of your bag and just put them in. Also homework. Yes, it was from Tiger and I really like it because it's got a massive binder and in it I just put in my book from Emma and in it I'm going to be writing some things I need for homework, things I need to do, revision for tests. So that's everything in my backpack to start year 7. So I have a few more things in the back. Because I'm starting my GCSE course, these obviously all won't be in my bag at once, but this is how I'm going to take in my homework for separate lessons and sheets for separate lessons. I'm obviously doing art and media studies. I'm taking English, maths, geography and science. I'm going to bring like the art and media one in if I have art or media studies that day. And then if I get homework in that subject, I'm going to put it in these individually instead. But this is what I'm going to bring into school and this is what I'll take out for each lesson. So that's the end of our What's In My Backpack video, Back To School edition. And when this goes up, Ruby will have had her first day of school. And my first day will be tomorrow. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and give it a big thumbs up. We have two shoutouts for this week. The first shoutout goes to Ali OD. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. Hashtagging artist squad and comments on the community page. Second shout out goes to Matilda Newman. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We really hope you enjoy them. Commenting on the community page and hashtagging artist squad. We can't end this video without thanking our notification squad and early squad. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed. Good luck on your school. Bye guys. Bye. Hi everyone. It's Ruby and Rayleigh. And welcome back to our. Hi everyone! Oh, do you want that? That sorry. And Ruby got a new. Sorry, wrong way round. I was letting a fly out. I think that's the fifth time you told me that. Why have you got sun cream in the front of my bag? <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> Oops. So the first thing is a. How do you open it? You just slide it. Jeez. <laughs> Pencils are so easy to loop. Again, pencils are really easy to use. Yep, this is what happens when you move a pack. It doesn't go in. It has going in. But I have some pencils. <laughs> Stop looking at me. <laughs> Jinx. Jinx again. It almost, it, uh, I have some pen, pencil sharpeners. This is good for when I forget my... Sorry, hang on, ignore me. So that's the end of our what's in our backpack video. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you.